Uh, a lot of people are afraid to buy a 250. And the reason being because all you hear is crap about them all the time. You know, like your friends are like, oh, that's a girl's bike and blah, 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 blah. Listen, let me tell you something. I, look, I own a 600. I'm a 600 guy. <laughs> and I'm telling you, there is nothing wrong with a 250 at all. I am so sick and tired of hearing people bash these. Oh, we'll see, we'll see. I'm gonna actually, we're gonna trade bikes. I'm gonna take your bike. Uh -huh. You can have my, <laughs> uh, <laughs> my weed whacker. Mm. Is that what you said? Weed whacker noises? I would never say that about a 250. Uh, of course not. not Wait, when, uh, if it didn't happen on video, it didn't happen. True, true. Okay, fine. I'm making that up. I'm a liar. I'm, right. Everyone hate on me. That's right. Make fun of my bear. <laughs> Even aware that people bash them that much until like I've made several 250 friends now that have told me these crazy ass stories about Woo! this is probably the wrong time to be doing a speed run while I'm talking about this but um yeah that wasn't even half was it well anyway so there's nothing, absolutely nothing wrong with buying a 250. Don't let your freaking dumbass friends tell you that there's something wrong. Oh, it's not a real bike, it's a girl's bike, What? whatever. You know, most of the people that say that shit have never ridden, okay? There's nothing wrong with a 250. In fact, a 250 will beat most cars on the road, you know that? <laughs> Honestly, and if they won't beat it, they'll give it a run for its money. I mean, like, seriously, you race a 250 against a Mustang, all right? Nobody's making fun of a Mustang, you know, really. And it's like, yet yeah, that bike can at the very least keep up with it, if not beat it, you know, in acceleration. And, you know, it'd be game over in the corners, believe me. But people, I don't know, it's either, like, number one, people that have never ridden put those bikes down. But even people that have, like, looked down on them. And it's like, look, there's a lot of benefits to that bike. Uh, number one, if you're young, uh, insurance on a 600 is expensive, okay? Let me tell you from personal experience that... Uh, this is the kind of raping that you get in prison, all right? It's kind of, uh, I'm going to wrap my penis in barbed wire and nail you for all day long, okay? That's, you know, there's no dinner, there's no card, there's no candy. No, 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 no. You, no, it's just a, a anal bleeding raping is what it is, all right? So, um, <laughs> that's one thing. The 250 insurance way easier to handle okay then you also have the low cost of buying one which you know <laughs> you can buy a brand new I could seriously for what I paid for the 600 I could have bought a brand spanking new 250 and uh, I also pointed something out when I was at in Massachusetts with Vanfly we were turning the bikes around without the engines on and you know he like <laughs> He flipped that bike around like in two seconds. It took me like five minutes to get the thing because we were in gravel and stuff. And my bike's light as far as, you know, a 600 goes, but compared to a 250, you know, it's, it's heavy. So, you know, <laughs> that made that a lot easier for him. A lot easier to park, a lot easier to get it um, moved around. The insurance is easier. Buying buying them is a lot easier because you know the thing is is yeah you might want to buy a 600 for the same price that's used as opposed to a brand new 250. But here's the problem with that: if you buy a used 250, that's even going to be less than a new one. Okay, so even in used prices, you can get a hell of a deal on a 250, and the price won't go down as much. Like over time, you know, like. Uh, like on a 600, you're gonna lose more on it than you will on a 250. In other words, a 250 holds its value a lot better because they're already low and they really don't go down that bad. I mean, 600s are don't do that too bad either, but they do. You know, lose their value. 
more than more so than the 250. But anyway, uh, so there's all that going for it. Uh, the gas mods is just uh, I wouldn't even want to. I mean, come on, a 250 in gas mods, you can get like like 70 miles to the gallon all right now there is no way in hell i could get 70 miles. i i could i probably couldn't get 70 miles to the gallon if i was riding on the back of a truck and just idling okay that's uh no i mean i get good mileage compared to a car but not 70. this is where he yeah, is where i'm going um so right there you got a bunch of benefits there that you know you can't deny i mean and most of it has to do with money and another thing is a lot of people think that the reason uh, others advise you not to get a big bike is just the power that oh you can't handle the power and a lot of people are like oh i can handle the power blah 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 well the thing is it's not just the power okay it's, it's also the the bigger the bike the more touchy the brakes are and a lot of people don't even talk about that and the thing is is when you're not experienced uh, <laughs> you know the throttle can be hard enough to deal with but if you hit those brakes too hard on a bigger bike like a 600 or bigger uh, you can go flying real easy I mean you can endo real easy I mean, right over the top of it you have no idea how easy it is to do that. I mean, there are some really good brakes on the bigger bikes. And that is also something else that you have to get used to. Mm. I was expecting to beat you here. On no. a ninja, please. Oh, oh. 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 I said that. <laughs> I did, and on film, or uh, video, or something. That's OK. We're you're a horrible, horrible person. Oh no, I need a better. Yes, you are. <laughs>